Welcome to the Non-Toxic Home, where we're going to be talking about 50 ways to use essential oils for cleaning, beauty, and more. This is what we're going to cover today, the chemicals that are lurking in your home, a quick introduction to essential oils, then we're going to talk about ways to use essential oils for a non-toxic home, how to get started, and my special bonus for you. My name is Tracy Black, and I am a blogger over at DontMessWithMama.com, where I talk about natural living, gluten-free living, and practical minimalism. I'm the author of the book, Gluten-Free Real Food Recipes for Kids. I'm a wife and mother to three beautiful boys, and I love to make real food meals and DIY goodies for my family. So when I got started in essential oils, at first, I really just wanted to make my own household cleaning recipes. But quickly, I discovered how amazing essential oils are for wellness, emotional balancing, beauty, and so much more. So first, let me just get this out of the way. I am not a medical professional, and I cannot treat, diagnose, or cure you. But the information you're going to hear today is for educational purposes. But don't worry, you're going to get a ton out of what we're going to be talking about. You're going to learn how to incorporate essential oils into your lifestyle and kick those hidden toxins out of your home for good. I cannot wait to share my favorite ways um, to have a more natural home, and we've got a really packed webinar, so stay tuned. So first, let's talk about how to get rid of the chemicals in your home and what's lurking in your home. So we're exposed to toxic chemicals every day, and most of that is in our own homes. We're going to talk about products most of us have used and no judgment. This counts on me too, so don't worry. But what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to use thing, do things differently. So let's talk about the five things you need to ditch in your home. First, hand soap. Most hand soap contains SLS, a toxic chemical that's used to remove, to remove car grease off of the of garage floors. This can be really damaging to the skin as well as disruptive to the immune system and hormonal health. Next up is shampoo. It contains phthalates, a toxic chemical that's been banned in children's toys but still found in shampoos and body cleansing products. It's known to be an endocrine disruptor and very hard for the body to break down when used during bath time. Candles and air fresheners. Most of them contain formaldehyde, which is the number one cancer-causing chemical, and it's what we get embalmed with at the morgue. Inhaling the scents from candles or sprays is the equivalent of inhaling secondhand smoke, which is even more dangerous than actually smoking the cigarette itself. Household cleaners. So these cleaners often contain bleach, which is one of the worst chemicals out there that's been linked to allergies, asthma, respiratory issues, etc. Exposure to bleach can actually make some people develop asthma. Skin care. So things like lotion, moisturizer, even baby care products contain something called fragrance. We've seen it on all the bottles, but here's the thing. You think it's a simple ingredient, but really that one ingredient can contain hundreds of toxic chemicals, synthetic scents, behind the word itself. So companies are not required to reveal what's in that quote unquote fragrance that's on the bottle because it's one of their um, proprietary company secrets. So they don't have to disclose it. So by the time you have dinner, you may have applied or used over 300 different chemicals on your skin or in your home per day. The toxins build up in the body and then they have a hard time breaking down. And over time, the buildup happens faster than the breakdown, which can lead to serious health issues. So you may not notice it today, but over time you will, and you may never make the connection. And if you've got kids like I do, the exposure to the same chemicals could be affecting their bodies even more right? Because they are not able to break down as many things as we are. Sometimes half, a quarter, or even less than ours. So what can you do instead? Well, you could buy expensive so-called natural products in the store. I did that for a while, but I'll be honest, most of those products are far from natural. Many of them still contain a laundry list of toxic ingredients. Compare any of your household 
beauty or body care products with an app called Think Dirty. And you can get that on your phone. It's done by the Environmental Working Group, or you can go to ewg.org. They have a database that you can use to look up products in your home and check out to see how many toxic chemicals are in each one. I've done this with products that I was buying from the store, things that I thought was natural, finding a rating of nine on a scale of one to 10, with 10 being the most toxic. Most of the products that I scanned in my home were between a six to an eight. So there is a better way. Let's talk about how you can use essential oils to replace a lot of the things in your home. You might be thinking essential oils are new and trendy, but really they've been around for thousands of years. In the Bible, Jesus at the time of his birth was given frankincense and myrrh, which at the time was considered more valuable than gold. And if you knew what frankincense and myrrh could do for you, I'm sure you would agree too. So you may have heard a lot about essential oils lately. You may have even bought one at a health food store. That's what I did. But what are they really? So essential oils are the concentrated aromatic compounds of plants like wood, bark, flowers, resins, leaves, herbs, and citrus peels. They are extracted from plants through a number of different methods like resin tapping, cold pressing, and steam distillation. Most essential oils are extracted through steam distillation. So in a nutshell, plant material like wood or bark are placed into a steam distiller, kind of like a high pressure cooker, or if you're like me, like a big instant pot. And with pressure and heat, the oils are released from the plants along with the water from the steam process. The oil and water that is in the steam rises to a condenser and the essential oils are then separated from the steam water and filtered to remove any plant material. Sometimes people keep the steam water, which is also known as hydrosol or floral water, to use for various uses like skincare, like rose water. You may have used it before or bought it from the store. That's how it's made. So a tip is look for essential oils that have been extracted by the methods that I mentioned above instead of solvent extraction to avoid chemical exposure. Essential oils can range in color and consist consistency depending on the plants that they're distilled from. Myrrh essential oil, for instance, can be quite viscous or thick in consistency because it's made from a tree resin compared to lemon essential oil, which is made from the rind of a lemon peel. So here's a couple of examples where essential oils are made are derived from. Frankincense and myrrh come from tree resin, lemon, lime, orange, and grapefruit, and pretty much all citrus essential oils come from the rind or the peel of the fruit. Valerian comes from a root. Peppermint, rosemary, eucalyptus all come from the leaves of the plant. Alang-alang, which smells amazing, comes from the petals of the flower. Anise comes from the seeds. Sandalwood and pine come from the wood. Now what's interesting is that essential oils can contain different constituents that can help the body. For instance, lavender essential oil can help with restful sleep, promote relaxation, and improve skin tone and texture. But not all essential oils are alike. Just like the extraction process can affect the quality of the essential oil, so can the farming of the plant. So the soil, the climate, the use of pesticides and other factors. That's why it's really important to look for essential oils that are grown with the highest quality standards. And this will affect pricing too. So bottom line is cheap doesn't mean quality. I recommend getting high quality essential oils and making your own DIY products to save money rather than skimp on the quality of the essential oils. Making an essential oil takes a lot of work and in some cases, tons of plant material to make just a tiny amount of essential oil. For instance, it takes about 60,000 pounds of roses to make just, or 60,000 roses to make just one ounce of rose essential oil. And just a few drops of rose oil is really all that's needed to make a full size, like two to four ounces of a DIY beauty serum. So really a little goes a long way when you're using high quality oils. Rose also happens to be one of the most expensive essential oils in the market. You'll find that some essential oils will cost more than others. And again, this is all dependent on the availability of the plant, the yield of the harvest, 
the delicate natures of the plant, labor costs, etc. This is why rose oil is going to cost so much more than lemon essential oil. For over 25 years, Young Living has been the most trusted and well-respected essential oil company. They are the only company that offers the seed to seal guarantee, which means they manage the process from the seed that's planted in the ground to the seal that's put on the bottle. They are one of the only essential oil companies out there that actually own their own farms and distilleries to produce essential oils. For over 25 years, Young Living has been the most trusted and well-respected essential oil company out there. They're the only one that offers the seed to seal guarantee, which means they manage the process of making essential oils from the seed that's planted in the ground to the seal that's put on that bottle. They're one of the only essential oil companies out there that actually owns its own farms all over the world and distilleries to produce their own essential oils. Simply put, the only thing inside the essential oil bottle is the plant itself. No additives, no fillers, no synthetic fragrances, no preservatives or dyes, no pesticides, which is not the same for the store-bought essential oils, hence why other brands can be dangerous or toxic. In fact, you'll even see it on the label. It will often say, not for internal use, do not put on the skin. That's usually a red flag. You should not be using it. And this goes the same for all of Young Living's products. The only ingredients within the products are the ones listed on the label, and they are all plant-based. Not a single ingredient is synthetic, toxic, or chemically derived, nor do they have pesticides with, uh, that were produced, that were used on any of their farms. Young Living members can actually visit the Young Living farms to be a part of the harvest and replanting each year. That to me speaks volumes about their transparency and commitment to quality. So if you want to learn more about Young Living Seed to Seal process, you can do it at seedtoseal.com. So now that we know that quality matters when it comes to oils, let's talk about how to use them. Essentially, there are three ways to use oils. Topically, so essential oils are absorbed through the skin, which is the largest organ in the body. In fact, the bottom of the feet have over 2,000 pores and some of the largest pores in the body. So it's a great way to get the oils to absorb rapidly into the body um, and so, and you can also use an oil that you don't like very well, right? Maybe the scent is a little bit strong for you, but you really need it. You can put it on the bottom of your feet. You can use essential oils to make your own DIY beauty products. A lot of times it's just as easy as mixing something like coconut oil with a few drops of essential oil to make a homemade lotion um, or a DIY perfume. Use carrier oils to apply essential oils to the skin. So diluting essential oils with a carrier oil does not mean it's going to diminish the effectiveness of the essential oils. It's more like a time release and actually helps the body, the skin, to absorb the essential oils better. So carrier oils are nutty or fatty oils like coconut oil, avocado oil, sesame seed oil, almond oil. They help to dilute the essential oils and make them easier to apply to a larger area of the skin, like the back. So try the V6 oil from Young Living, it's fabulous. Aromatically, so scents can affect mood and memories. Scents are the fastest way to reach the mood center, which is through the limbic system of the brain. That's why essential oils are fantastic for mood support, especially when used aromatically. Most American homes have some kind of synthetic air freshener, such as plug-ins and aerosol sprays, which contain chemicals that have been linked to cancer and other health issues. When you use essential oils in a diffuser or a spray bottle, spray bottle with water, you can replace those synthetic air fresheners in the home to save money and get the chemicals out of the home. Internally, now Young Living has a whole line of essential oils for internal or dietary use. They have white labels and they are called the Vitality line. So more on that just in just a bit. So oils labeled for internal or dietary use are the same oil that you'll see with the color labels for, from Young Living, for instance. So for instance, the lemon oil will have a white label that's Vitality, which means it's for internal use, and a yellow label will be for 
aromatic or, or topical use. It's the same oil. So Young Living has provided the bottles with the white labels to make it really easy for us to know which ones can be used internally. So you could add them to a cup of water or tea. I like to put one to two drops of thieves on a spoonful of honey and it tastes delicious. You could even take oils in an empty vegetable capsule, which you can get through the health food store or through Young Living. Some people prefer to take their oils this way. Just add a little avocado or coconut oil to the capsule so your body will absorb it better. You can also use essential oils for cooking and baking. Remember, essential oils are so much more concentrated than extracts, like a peppermint extract, so start with one drop and do a taste test. Sometimes you may even be you it may even need to dip a toothpick into the essential oil bottle to add to a dish rather than a single drop like oregano or basil. Those are really, really concentrated and strong. So a few things to keep note of as far as safety guidelines is two places you should never use essential oils and that is in your eyes and inside your ear. Now, if you want to use essential oils for you know, eye health or ears, what you can do is put the essential oil on your uh, brow bone and sort of apply topically around there. If you wanna you know, help your ears, you can apply around the ears, the back of the ears, but never inside the ear canal. Care should also be taken to oils that feel hot to the touch. If an oil ever feels really warm to the skin, um, don't wash it off because remember, water and oil don't mix. Simply dilute with a carrier oil to help to soothe that warming sensation. And just a good rule of thumb when it comes to dilution is um, dilute with a one to five for kids ages six and up, or for younger kids, dilute one to 10. So what that means is one drop of an essential oil with 10 drops of a carrier oil with kids two to five. So less really is more. You shouldn't need to use a ton of essential oils, especially when you're using Young Living because they're so concentrated. So now that you know how to use essential oils, let's talk about how we're gonna use them for a non-toxic home. So this is a good time to grab a pen and paper to take some notes. We're gonna share a ton of great information. So first thing to do um, to start using oils in your home is to get this premium starter kit. So why do you want it? There are literally hundreds of different uses for these oils, everything from cleaning to beauty to skin to personal care, wellness, immune support, digestive support, and so much more. We didn't even talk about emotional support. I could be here all day talking to you about the uses for oils, but I wanna be really mindful of your time. So we're gonna take the top 50, but I'll have some resources for you at the end of this webinar to learn more ways to use the oils. So let's break down this kit and talk about all the ways you can use them. Lavender. So when you're in doubt on what oil to use, just go for lavender. It's pretty much good for everything. For restful sleep, relaxation, healthy skin, emotional health, like just needing to chill out. Um, it's also really great for kids. It's one of the most gentle oils and one of the first go-to oils that I use for babies and kids. It's really known as the Swiss Army knife of oils because again, it's so versatile and when you're, when you're in doubt on what to use, just reach for lavender. You can make things like bath salts, bath bombs, facial serums, pillow spray, and so much more. One of my favorite things to do is to get a cup of Epsom salt, add five or six drops of lavender oil, about a teaspoon of carrier oil, and put that in the bath for a detox, relaxing bath, but that Epsom salt really helps the body to absorb magnesium through the skin, right? Which is very calming and most of us are deficient in magnesium, but the lavender is really calming and relaxing too. Frankincense. So I'll be really honest, when I first got frankincense, I didn't know what to do with it. And now that I have it, I see why it was worth more than gold back in the day of Jesus's time. This essential oil is amazing, especially for skin health. My skin has completely transformed because I use frankincense and lavender in my DIY facial serum. What I like to do is about two ounces of rosehip seed oil, add five to six drops each of lavender and frankincense, and I use that every single night in that serum, um, and my skin looks amazing. Frankincense is also really good for meditation, for grounding, and for, um, for finding purpose. Um, it has a tightening effect on the skin, and like I said, it makes skin really clear and bright. Panaway is a blend made with wintergreen, helichrysum, clove, and peppermint. 
It is really amazing and it's one of the best selling oil blends from Young Living and I'll tell you why. It's fantastic for getting relief from tired muscles. So if you stand all day, if you sit all day, if you exercise, or maybe you're an athlete, maybe you just ran a marathon or a half marathon, Panaway is gonna be your best friend. So what you would wanna do is dilute Panaway with some carrier oil and apply it to the back, the back of the neck, back of the legs, wherever you're really sort of needing the relief, it really feels very soothing and amazing. You could also pair Panaway along with lavender and create a post-workout blend that's really soothing. You could even diffuse Panaway with Stress Away, which I'll talk about in just a little bit, and it'll smell like a root beer float in your own room. Raven is another blend. Um, it's made with camphor leaf, lemon, wintergreen, peppermint, and eucalyptus radiata. It literally smells like you're being transported to a spa and it has a really comforting aroma. So you can pair Raven with a massage oil like V6 from Young Living to create a soothing massage. You could even pair it with some coconut oil and put a few drops of Raven and apply it to the chest. And it's almost like having your own homemade chest rub, really great for the fall and winter months. I also like to put a few drops of Raven on the bottom of my feet before bedtime. And one of my favorite ways to use Raven is to create a um, Epsom salt bath. So what I do is a cup of Epsom salts. I then add four to five drops of Raven, about a teaspoon of carrier oil, like an almond oil or a fractionated coconut oil. And I add that to a warm bath and I soak in it for about 20 minutes and it feels really soothing and comforting and the aroma smells like something you would expect in a five-star spa. It's really, really nice. Citrus Fresh is another blend. It's made with orange, tangerine, grapefruit, lemon, mandarin orange, and spearmint. So as you can imagine, it smells really energizing and fresh and clean. And it's one of my favorite oil blends to use for cleaning. Because of the citrus oils, it helps to degrease like nothing you've ever experienced before. It is better than any Goo Gone remover. Um, it removes sticky residue, that gunky dust that you might have and like open shelves or just on furniture. You can use that and it works really well to do that. It's also fantastic to use to replace air fresheners. You can add it to the diffuser. You can add it to the washer to make your laundry smell fantastic. Instead of using dryer sheets, get some dryer balls, wool dryer balls, add a few drops of Citrus Fresh and pop that into the dryer with your clothes. Your clothes by the end of the dry cycle will smell so fresh and clean. Citrus Fresh is also fantastic for helping to neutralize odors. So great for putting in that stinky closet or maybe putting a drop or two um, on a cotton ball and then putting it into shoes, for instance. My sister does that for her boys, her teenage boys, um, because as you can imagine, teenage boys have stinky shoes. So Citrus Fresh, along with these, should definitely be a part of your cleaning arsenal. It can help to replace so many things. Lemon Vitality. So notice this has the white label. What that means is you can actually use this for internal use. So Lemon Vitality is from lemons, right? Um, and what's really cool is it's cold pressed from the rind, not the juice. So it doesn't have the acid of lemon juice if you have a sensitivity to it. So that means you can add a drop to your water every day. I love drinking my water with a drop of Lemon Vitality. You can even um, add it to foods, right? I make a hummus or I've made lemon frosting um, and I'll use my lemon vitality with that. Peppermint vitality. So this is another white label that you're gonna notice here. So one drop of peppermint vitality is the equivalent of 26 cups of peppermint tea. So a little really goes a long way. So peppermint is really fantastic for helping to support normal digestion. So if you feel like maybe you had too much pizza or greasy food, or maybe something you had at dinner didn't agree with you, you definitely wanna reach for peppermint. 
So peppermint is a little strong because again, one drop is the equivalent of 26 cups of peppermint tea. So what you'd want to do is put a drop maybe in a warm cup of water and drink it that way. I actually like to do a, get a mini spray bottle and these are really small spray bottles that you could get on Amazon, um, maybe a five ml bottle. And I add water and a drop or two of peppermint and I use that as my own DIY breast spray. So I don't even need to use gum or mints. So it's really fantastic for cooking as well. So you could make, um, put one or two drops of peppermint vitality in a batch of brownies and it'll be delicious. Um, I even use it to make um, a peppermint chocolate smoothie. One drop is all you really need. Or even like a hot cocoa, it's just so tasty. So when you're doing like a single serving, one drop might even be too much. So what you could do is get a toothpick, dip it into the bottle, and then use it to flavor your hot cocoa, for instance, or if you're making brownies, you could do it that way and just kind of go based on what your flavor palette likes. So it is really fantastic and it literally smells like you just cut fresh peppermint from your garden. Thieves Vitality. Thieves is actually the most popular um, essential oil blend from Young Living. Um, it's based on the legend of the four thieves, which you can go ahead and Google, but it's a blend of clove, cinnamon bark, rosemary, lemon, and eucalyptus. To me, these smells like cookies. It smells like something was, somebody was in my kitchen baking cookies. It really smells amazing. So what do you use thieves for? Well, it's fantastic for helping to support a healthy immune system. That's right, you could add a drop of Thieves Vitality on a spoonful of honey, or you could make a wellness, your own sort of wellness drink. Again, spoonful of honey, drop of Thieves in a warm cup of water, and it's like a wellness tea. It helps to support your overall wellness, but I challenge you to go Google the benefits of clove and cinnamon bark and go see what that does for you. It, again, helps to support a healthy immune system. So this is definitely one that you're gonna to wanna to keep and use regularly, especially during the fall and winter months. So I often use Thieves internally and the oil blend Raven, right, topically, especially during that time. Copa Eva Vitality. So Copa Eva is made from a resin that's tapped from a tree like maple syrup in South America. So it, along with thieves, helps to promote a healthy immune system. So that wellness tea that I had just mentioned, a, a spoonful of honey, warm cup of water, do a drop of Copa Eva and a drop of Thieves Vitality. It's really delicious um, and it really helps to support your immune system. So again, it's really great to pair with thieves, but it's also fantastic um, for teething babies um, or just sort of for overall digestive support. Digize Vitality. So this is a blend made with tarragon, ginger, peppermint, juniper, fennel, lemongrass, anise, and patchouli. So remember we talked about peppermint and how that helps to aid in digestion. So Digize is another one that helps to aid in digestion. So I will tell you, this is the oil blend that my family cannot live without. Like we absolutely never travel without our Digize because when you overeat, when you eat something that doesn't agree with your stomach, right? Maybe it's greasy food, you need some relief and Digize is it. So we usually do peppermint as our first line of defense. And really when we're not messing around, then we go with Digize. But now we use Digize so regularly that that's usually our go-to for digestion. So there's a few ways that you can do it. I just put a drop right under my tongue. It does have a very strong flavor. It has sort of a black licorice aroma, which some people love and some people not so much. And I will tell you, it was an acquired taste for me, but here's the thing, you guys know this, even though you may not love the aroma or the taste, it still works. And while I would never say essential oils are a magic pill or a magic bullet of any sort, really it's part of an overall um, wellness plan that you wanna do along with food and getting chemicals out of the home. I really do feel like Digize is kind of like the one thing that can give you relief pretty quickly. 
So for instance, if I had greasy pizza, it doesn't agree with my stomach, I do a drop of Diagize under my tongue, I usually feel relief within 15 to 20 minutes. Um, so it's one of those oils that just works magic. Um, so you could do a drop under your tongue, like I just mentioned. If the flavor is not your jam, what you could do is get an empty veggie capsule, put a few drops of uh, Diagize in there, maybe even add a drop of peppermint, and then to close up the veggie capsule and take that. Um, you could even do a couple of drops of Diagize and a drop of peppermint, add that to water. Um, it even tastes great. Honestly, I'm loving the taste now. I do a drop under my tongue after a meal and it's kind of like my after dinner mint. Stress away. So you heard me talking about this one earlier. This is bonus oil that you get with the starter kit. So it is a blend of lime, copaiba, cedarwood, and vanilla, and akatea. So stress away does basically what the name implies. It smells like a margarita in a bottle and the vanilla, oh, it just smells wonderful. When I opened this bottle, when I got my kit, I instantly fell in love with it. It smelled amazing. So this is the oil you need when you're shopping at the grocery store with the kids and they're running off in different directions or you're driving in rush hour traffic and you need some patience, that's stress away. So you can smell it straight from the bottle, put it right under your nose and just kind of inhale the aroma for a couple of minutes. It even smells fantastic in the diffuser. Um, I even like to um, put wear it as perfume. So there are some other goodies that you get in the starter kit. So you get Ningxia Red, that's the two red packets that you're seeing there. Um, Ningxia Red is a super fruit supplement and it's made from wolf berries, which is the same as goji berries, which you may be familiar with. Um, it's from the Ningxia province of China. It's organic and supercharged with Young Living citrus oil. So you can drink one to two ounces a day and you will definitely feel the difference, in particular for digestion, natural energy, and immune support. So I got my husband to actually ditch his energy drinks and drink Ningxia Red instead, and he loves it. It doesn't give you that sort of, you know, huge energy surge and then crash like you would normally get with an energy drink. It's more like sustained energy throughout the day. So we love to use our oils and use our Ningxia Red. It is fantastic. So some of the oils that I mentioned earlier, like thieves or peppermint or lemon, you can absolutely add that to your Ningxia Red. The other thing that you're gonna get as far as goodies is the Thieves Household Cleaner. So this has totally transformed my entire household. Before, when you opened underneath my sink, you would see a window cleaner and a stainless steel cleaner and a floor cleaner and a wood cleaner and everything in between, maybe 20 different bottles in there. My Thieves Household Cleaner literally replaces all of it. So that packet that you see here in this photo, um, that's about two, um, it'll make about two bottles of um, household cleaner. So what you would do is in about a 20 ounce spray bottle, you add half of what's in that packet, fill the rest with water. You could even add oils like citrus fresh to it if you wanted to, and use that to clean countertops and granite and windows. I didn't believe it would clean everything until I tried it for myself and I could not believe how amazing it was. Everything from floors to exercise equipment to toys to everything in between, Thieves Household Cleaner can do it. Um, what's also nice is that it is uh, it does not have toxic chemicals in it. So even my son, who's now seven, but at the time when we first got started with oils, he was only three years old. He was even using Thieves Household Cleaner to clean the house. So even kids can use it. So other things that you get with the starter kit is these fantastic sample bottles, which you can use to take your oils on the go or share with a friend. Um, you also get a roll-on fitment, which you'll see. And what that does is you can put it on any oil that you have from Young Living, and it makes it into a rollerball bottle, which is really fun. Okay, so we just talked about a lot of uses for essential oils. And we talked about so many ways you can make simple swaps in your home to get the toxins out. So what's next? It's really as simple as choosing the starter kit that you want. There are four different starter kits 
and they all have the 11 oils we just talked about, the Thieves Household Cleaner Sample, the Ning Shu Red, and the other goodies. Really, the only thing you need to decide at this point is which diffuser starter kit you wanna get. So I'll start from the top um, left. So you'll see there that is the Desert Mist Diffuser. I love that one and it goes for eight hours. It has different LED settings, including a really cool sort of candle flicker setting. It's beautiful, gorgeous, and very practical. On the top right, that is the Dewdrop Diffuser. Um, it goes for about three to four hours and has a few different settings where you can go intermittent or continuous. The bottom left, that is the Rainstone Diffuser. This is a really cool diffuser. It actually has a remote. Um, it goes for about six to eight hours, so great for the bedroom. And it's also made of clay, so it has a really cool sort of, um, you know, it's a little bit of a heavier design um, and it looks really cool in the room as well. It also has a negative ionizer. So um, negative ions, you may know when you're at, at the ocean or near a waterfall, you know, those sort of areas sort of uh, produce negative ions, which help to make you feel really chill and calm and happy. And this diffuser can help you do that too. And when you look at the bottom right, that is the area diffuser. That is like the Cadillac of diffusers. It has a glass dome and a wooden base. It is gorgeous. And what's really cool is I'll talk about the pricing of all the different starter kits. So the area diffuser, when you get it as a starter kit with the oils, it actually ends up being cheaper than the retail price of the area itself. The area actually retails for over 300, but you can get it with the starter kit for just 260. The rainstone that we talked about with the negative ionizer, right? The one on the bottom left, that one um, actually goes for 205 with the oils um, and the diffuser itself. If you just got the rainstone by itself, it would be 196. So really for just 10 bucks more, you can get the whole kit. And the two diffusers on top, those with the kit um, are just $160. So it's really such a great value with those two. So let's talk about the Desert Mist on the top left. You know, if you priced everything out individually, it would be over $300 and you can get that for just $160. So it really is a huge bargain. So when you get a starter kit, you also get wholesale membership. It is amazing. So like I said, the kit itself, when you get it, it's gonna be 50% of retail prices. That's a huge bargain and the best deal around. But with that, you also get wholesale membership for free. That means anything you buy in the future will be 24% off. It's not like Costco where you pay for the wholesale membership and then you buy your products. Nope. The wholesale membership fee is waived only when you get a starter kit. So with the wholesale membership, there's no monthly fees. You just need to spend 50 PV a year to keep your membership. And when you get your starter kit, that counts. So you don't have to worry about buying anything for a year. Now you do have the option to enroll in something called Essential Rewards. It's amazing, just take it from me. It's so worth it. Um, it's a monthly program, again, it's optional, but what you can do is you can get your favorite oils and products sent to you and earn 10 to 25% back in points for your purchases. So trust me, once you start diffusing oils and using your oils, you're gonna need a steady supply to replenish them. So think about it, with Essential Rewards, it's just 50 PV minimum to enroll and your first order counts, which is fantastic. So in a nutshell, when you sign up right now with the starter kit, you're gonna get 11 oils, a diffuser, all the other freebie goodies that was in the kit, right? But when you also get um, on a central rewards, at the same time, you'll also get a bonus free oil from Young Living, and these change out every month, and you're gonna get 10 ER points when you sign up for Essential Rewards. So you can save up those ER points and use them to buy pretty much anything from Young Living. Now you can cancel Essential Rewards anytime, so it's so worth it just to give it a try now and see how you like it. Just try it for a few months. You can even sign up for Wild Go, which is like Young Living's own Amazon Prime. It gives you discounted shipping for just one annual shipping fee. It's awesome. 
Now, with your wholesale membership, you also have the option to share the oils with friends and family. And when you do, you earn a thank you check from Young Living. Now, there's no obligation to sell. You won't get any pressure from me. But more than likely, when you start using your oils and you, your friends start seeing how much you love them, they're going to ask you about it. So you can share a sign-up link and we'll, we can show you how to do that. And we can show you how to share without being salesy because we're not about that. And of course, you get ongoing training and support from our team. And this is where I really want to spend some time talking about um, all of the perks. So you see, when you sign up to get started with Young Living, the person you sign up with matters. You want someone who can help you learn how to use your oils and give you the support you need. One of the perks of joining with me is our amazing community. We have a community of 14,000 plus members that you'll become a part of. It'll feel like your tribe because when you first get started, you're going to have so many questions and you'll want to feel like you have the support of others to help you. With us, you will never feel alone in this journey towards natural wellness and essential oils. We have training, online events, in-person events, likely in a city near you, education, resources, tips and tricks, and so much more to help you. We even have weekly online classes that you can tune into anytime, anywhere, so you can even show up in your PJs. We won't be able to see you, but it's just a great way for you to continue to learn how to use your oils. And if you decide you want to share oils with friends and family, we have a mentorship program that is exclusive to your team that can help you. We have everything from graphics, photography, social media training, weekly calls, and so much more. With us, you'll always feel connected and part of our tribe. When you get started with me, in addition to our community, our education, our support, I've got some special goodies for you. So when you use, when you sign up with me as your enroller and sponsor, you're going to get a free copy of my book, The Essential Home. You'll also get an essential oils reference guide, and you'll get a goodie bag with a starter set of oil supplies, like a rollerball set with rollerball recipes that you could make with the oils right from your starter kit diffuser jewelry, and so much more. I know you're going to love it. So how do you get started? It is so easy. Just go to don'tmesswithmama.com slash oils. Click the get started here link. Choose wholesale membership. Choose your diffuser. And if you want, go ahead and roll in essential rewards. Then you'll be prompted to fill in your shipping information, your payment information, and that's basically it. Um, you can decide how quickly you wanna receive your oils. We have some expedited shipping options, and that is it. The whole process to sign up takes less than five minutes. It's really easy and it's really fun. Um, and once you get signed up, I'll be in contact with you to get you your goodie bag and get you plugged into our tribe, our community, and our online resources. Thank you so much for joining me today to learn how to use essential oils. I'm here. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me at Tracy at don'tmesswithmama.com. And I cannot wait to help you get started.